Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will see some system activities that are available in UI Path Studio. In that, we will see how to transfer the data from one folder location to another folder location. So, in this video, we have three parts. So, first part is copying the single file from one location to another location. And second part is about copying multiple files from one location to another location. And third part is about copying the data from one location to multiple folders so let's begin with a new sequence so here i have already created a new sequence with the name as copy data so for transferring the data from one folder to another folder so here inside the system activities in the activities panel so here you can see a session called file in this so there is one activity called copy file so this activity we need to drag and drop into the designer panel. So here you can see there are two input fields that is from field and the to field. So from field is nothing but the files or the folder location which we want to transfer it into the target. So to field is nothing but the target folder. And we have one more option called overwrite. Suppose if there are any files existed in the target folder with the same name which are available in the from folder that will be overridden if not that a new copy will be available in the destination folder okay so that's all about the properties of this copy file activity so first begin with the from folder so here i have some data inside this folder test so let's begin with a single file so i just want to move this 81 presentation into my destination folder just select this and here you can see this folder test slash 81.pptx in the same way we need to select the destination folder so here in my desktop i have two folders employee 1 and employee 2 so here i will use employee 1 so just click on ok so this will be my destination folder so here you can see there is nothing and the folder is empty i will run this program now So here the execution is started and it is completed so you can see it is ended in two seconds and we'll see the folder see you can notice the 81 ppt is copied from the folder test so here i'll open that folder as well so here it is 81 and it is available in the employment folder as well okay and the next part is copying the multiple files so for copying multiple data into a single folder first we need to begin with one more activity called for each activity so search for for each in the activities panel so here is the activity just drag and drop and here i will move this copy file into this body of for this for each activity okay so now it is moved and so here for accessing the data inside this location so so here i have three files right 81 82 83 i just want to move all these files into my destination location okay so here i have only one t 81 now so here we need to write one vb expression so that is nothing but directory dot get files so here we can see the suggestions and inside the brace so you just need to mention the location from where you want to get the data and here item is nothing but the indexing variable so here i will create the variable for this with the name as item and here this will be a string and this value we need to use it in the from location field so here item will be my input for the to field okay so and the destination is nothing but the employee one so i'll just delete this 81 now and we'll see how the flow behaves so this directory dot get files this is the function in the vv script that get the details of all the files that are available in the particular given location and based on it this item variable it will point to the each variable and based on the item value this copy file action will be performed on the particular item okay so here 
once we got the data like uh, here we have three files right 81 82 and 83 so once 81 is loaded that will be copied into the two and then again loop will be repeated and it will be point to 82 and then it will be moved into the folder target folder and then in the same way 83 will be moved into the copied into the employment folder okay so let's run this now and we'll check the output so the execution is started and i opened the employment folder as well so you can see this 81 82 83 all these data will be appeared in the employment folder so let's check the option of forward right so this time i uh, will so let's run this so this time we'll see that files will not be updated inside the employment folder so now you can see the execution is stopped and there is no duplicate file appeared in the employment folder as data is already existed and let's remove the overwrite and let's check this again so this time as we have data already existed in the target folder we can see an error so here we get an error like copy file the file 81 pptx is already existed in the target folder so like this we can use this activity or operate option to copy the data from one folder location to another location okay so next part of the session is copying the data from one file to from one folder to multiple folders okay so here in my desktop i have one more folder called employee 2 so here you can see employee 1 and employee 2 so here first i will delete all this data information here so this time i just want to transfer the data of 81 82 and 83 into the multiple folders which are available in my desktop okay so for that first we need to get the details of all the folders with are which are with the name of employee okay so so as i have multiple folders on my desktop so first i will write some conditions to get the details of the folders with the name as employee so here i will take one more activity of for each and first i will identify the number of folders that are available with the name of employee so for that i will just use this one for each activity and here this time what i will do is i will use one more vb script expression so with the name as directory dot get directories so this is the directories information we'll get from the particular location so as i have the data is available in the desktop so first i need to get the information of this so here i like open the wrong one So let me copy the folder location of these two. So as my folders are available in the desktop, so we just need to mention the location of the des desktop. Okay. So here it has the same items, index variable. So here my folder is my variable for this index term and here it will give the information about the folders that are available inside the desktop okay so here we'll write one condition like with the help of if activity so here we'll write one expression like uh, if folder dot so before that first we need to change this argument type to the string and then only we can get the name of uh, this folder so folder dot contains so here we need to give the value like employee so then this then activity will be executed else the else activity will be executed so i will just copy the for each of uh, this previous activity into this then okay so now we have the information of uh, the copy file and then so here else i will 
just mention one right line activity suppose if there is no data related to the employee so we'll say some error in the output so no files with no folders with employee so this message will be displayed in the output screen if there is nothing with the data as employee available in the location so here so we got the folder locations so now this time what we need to do is we need to change the target so here our target will be the folder which is nothing but the location identified by the outer for each so this is my outer for each for identifying the folders and this is the inner for each for transferring the files from one location to the multiple locations so here this time i will use the folder name okay so this is my target location so now run this and we'll see the process so i have the folder opened with employee one so we can see the data of 81 82 and 83 and in the same way in for a employee 2 also we can see the data as 81 82 and 83 so here we got some error saying ppt2 dot it is already existed in the employee to folder i think all data is already there so let's run this again and i will remove the both the folders data now i deleted all the data in both the folders employee 1 and employee 2 so let's run this now and we can see the data will be transferred from the target location with the copy of 81 and 82 and 83 in both the folders so like this so like this we can transfer the data from a location to the destination location as a single file as a multiple files or while transferring to the multiple locations also we can achieve with the help of uh, this copy activity this with this copy file activity i hope you like this video and if you like the video please do like and share the video with your friends and if you have any queries related to your path please do comment and please subscribe to our channel thank you